Hello, good morning and welcome to Misha's first ever official What I Eat in a Day. So today I'm going to be doing a very highly requested video and that is what I eat in a day because I mean I eat a lot to begin with but yes I am just going to quickly explain my dietary requirements situation. So can't eat dairy, can't eat soy. Is that it? I think that's it. Pretty sure that's it. Yeah? Pretty sure. Not out of choice, I have allergies to those things. I'd love to eat a block of cheese, but sadly I cannot. So I'm basically a plant-based eater. Just to put a little synopsis on my eating situation. So yes, I'd like to think I am a very healthy person. I know on YouTube you guys see a lot of me eating not so much healthy food. I'm still never like eating deep fried Mars bars because obviously they've got dairy in them. Um, but yes, I eat good 90% of the time and then when I go away I have that 10% off to eat what I like and I have a really huge appetite. But to begin the day, we all know that I'm obsessed with coffee. Now, coffee, I can't actually have at the moment because it's fully giving me the shakes. Like, it's not good. I'm getting the coffee shakes. I'm getting too reliant on coffee. And that is why I want to talk about matcha. So, matcha powder. In specifics, this matcha powder from the Matcha Reserve. So, this little box of goodies on the matcha reserve is honestly the cutest thing it'd make the nicest gift or you could just gift it to yourself but if we look it's in this really gorgeous box with their logo on it and then in here is everything you need to wean yourself off coffee and feel good because i'm sure i'm not the only coffee obsessed person who is looking to get a little bit of a healthier relationship with coffee in the new year so, in this adorable little box, we have the whole matcha kit. Now, matcha is something that dates it back like hundreds of years. Like, it's crazy. So, here is the matcha in question. Now, if you've never seen matcha and then you're living under a rock because it's the latest superfood, I actually love the smell of matcha. Can we see? I don't want to spill it everywhere. But can we see that it's a bright green powder? So this is basically really finely crushed green tea. And we all know how good green tea is for you. And this is like 100 times better because it's like loads and loads of green tea. It's an extra strong version. This is supposed to give you so much more energy than coffee. It's a lot more of a natural and healthier substance. It's also supposed to be really good for... Oh my gosh, I'm getting matcha all over my desk. This is why I should leave my matcha in the kitchen. I've now got green fingers. Can we see? Mm, but at least they smell. Oh, and now I've got it on my workout leggings. Whoopsies, I should make less of a mess. So they actually have different flavours at the matcha reserve. I just got the organic premium ceremonial matcha because I love the taste of matcha, so I don't need any added flavours to it. But I know that there are so many. So maybe if green tea isn't necessarily a flavour that you're that fond of, you can try one of the flavoured ones and then you kind of don't even taste it. So really random fact, but matchas, this match is actually calorie free, which... You wouldn't think that like a green powder would be calorie free. Not that it's relevant, not that I count calories. It's just quite fascinating. Also, with it being one calorie, matcha is also so good for your metabolism. Now, if you don't know, my metabolic rate is actually something that I really struggle with. I do have an underactive thyroid. I'm working to improve it, but stuff like matcha really helps because it gives my metabolic system the boost that it needs to start working, to get burning. The reason I've got this gorgeous kit to show you all is I'm going to show you how you can drink matcha but we're gonna need to go into my kitchen for that but in the little pot we've also got the matcha bowl now you can just buy the matcha powder by itself but if you want to do it the good old-fashioned way the proper way the the most organic and natural way and also the wooden whisk now these are so cool but we basically turn into a little chef and whisk up the matcha I haven't opened this one because I wanted to show you guys it all new and beautiful. And we even have a little scoop so we get the perfect amount of matcha. But I also love matcha pancakes. Matcha lattes are so good. So if you use like almond milk to create like a coffee, but instead of using coffee, you use matcha powder. 
oh it's so good and i know that the reason it's so energy inducing is because it's got so much more caffeine than coffee but not in a healthy way like it's all natural caffeine so as my first drink of the day we are going to go downstairs to the kitchen and we are going to make ourselves a matcha tea and then we can have some breakfast because yeah gal's hungry so excuse my sprouts of hair so we're gonna start build building making our matcha now we're gonna grab a little pot of matcha tea from the matcha reserve I genuinely love the smell of it. And we're going to take the little wooden spoon. I know there is technical terms for all of this, but I'm not even going to try and pronounce them because, well, I would butcher it. And we're going to pop it in the big old bowl. Step one, complete. Next, we're going to grab our bamboo whisk and we're just going to whisk the powder to break it down. Break it down now. Step two complete. It smells so good. I love the smell of matcha. Next, we're going to add a little bit of pre-boiled water, but they don't want you to make it too hot because otherwise I think you're supposed to like destroy the matcha. So I'm just going to pour some in. Easy breezy. We basically want to create a paste. That's how it works in matcha. So now we're going to sw swipe. Now we're going to whisk in an M or a W motion. You can tell I'm like following the step by step in this one because I don't want to do it wrong because when I do my matcha, I won't lie, I'm not very specific. I do use the whisk in the bowl, but um, not like a proper person. Oh yeah, you're supposed to whisk it and do all these things until it like goes creamy on the top. I don't know, can we? Whiskey, whiskey. I think we're good. And now we can just pop our whisk in the little whisk holder. There we go, so we don't make a mess. And I am going to grab my mug, which is a Make Today Awesome mug. I'm gonna pour in the matcha, and then I'm gonna add some more boiling hot water. Cheers, let's make some breakfast. Mmm, yummy. Oh, I almost forgot. I actually have a discount code for the matcha reserve. Let me just grab it. Mum! Mum! She's upstairs. Okay, one sec. I just had a really exciting email. Um, so, you can get 50% off the matcha reserve with the code Misha Matcha, which I love as a code because I think it's quite, it sounds quite snazzy. Maybe I should, maybe I should my stage name. Hi everyone, I'm Misha Matcha. Anyway, I'm going to drink this and then I'm going to make some breakfast. So I will see you in a second and I need to go tell mum about my exciting email. Okay, so welcome to Misha's breakfast selection. Now I thought I'd just lay out everything that I use to make my porridge because no one needs to see how I make porridge. Everyone knows how to make porridge. But here we have my oats. They obviously haven't been cooked yet. And I mean, I do have quite a lot of porridge, I won't lie. Then I mix that in with some almond unsweetened milk and that goes in the microwave then once that's done we then move on to the toppings so excuse my rather brown banana but it was the best i could do now i have like a few tiny bits of coconut left so we've got some organic raw coconut chips i've got some amiga mix chia and goji i've got a super powder i've got some more chia seeds i've got another super powder and then also I have got some lacto-free plain yogurt. Now this is really great yogurt if you can't have soy and you can't have dairy. Because it's quite like plain. Because obviously I've got a lot going on. Oh and then I'll have a bit of banana. And maybe some maple syrup if I feel like it needs any more sweetness. But yeah. It looks quite presentable now-ish. Wait till you see it done. Go. So here is my massive bowl of goodness as you can see i've literally just chucked all the ingredients that i just showed you guys in a bowl might well i chucked the boats in boat i chucked the oats in a bowl with some almond milk in the microwave microwaved it and then added all this goodness so i'm now gonna eat it. so i interrupt this water eating a day to do a major memory throwback we are currently down at my nan's and we are going back to see my old house that I grew up in till I was about seven which is in like the Surrey area so yeah Banstead, Banstead to be precise and now we're driving the so we're, look at we're, the we're, we're driving close. oh oh 
Larchwood Close! Oh. That's our she, old house! Oh my gosh! So everyone, this is where the Grimes gals grew up. Oh, number 28. Yep. So as we are going down memory lane, we have also decided to go back to another place that me and Anya grew up when we were little and that is Luigi's. So Luigi's is a little cafe in Banstead that is still there all these years later. Sadly it's no longer run by Luigi. I swear he lives in like Spain or something now. Portugal. Portugal with his wife Sarah and what do they have two little girls am yeah. I remembering that correctly but yeah basically Luigi was like mine and your second dad and we will always remember was it me or you that lost our Tamagotchi down the toilet I think that was me you, you remember when Tamagotchis yeah. were a massive thing yeah Anya's Tamagotchi died because she lost it down the toilet um so yeah we're gonna go back there and they have the most insane food hopefully this is also evidence that you can go out you can eat out but you can still eat healthy and avoid all my intolerances which is like 101 so yeah we're gonna go and have some yummy scrummy food they have ginormous salads and I'm so excited and also this is just like it's kind of like a builder's cafe isn't it mum you have like fish and chips and omelets and stuff like that but they also create these amazing sandwiches and amazing salads so yeah you can make your healthy lifestyle work wherever you go this is gonna be evident Welcome to Luigi's. Oh, it's changed a bit. This has always been here. But look how cute. And do you see what I mean about the builders? Everyone's builders in here. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. So, I'm with salad. Salad that is the size of my head. That's when you know it's a good salad. So, on here. We've got shredded chicken, cucumber. I'm gonna turn on the camera, I can't do this. Oh, it's majorly zoomed in. So, avocado, sweet corn, carrot, mushrooms, sundry tomatoes, this like chicken mix, aubergines, cucumber, shredded chicken, gherkins. Sundry um, tomatoes. Do I not say sundry tomatoes? I don't know, but literally that's the size of my hand and, and that's the size of the food. So yeah, I found something that matches my head, but wait till you see theirs as well. His mum says it's saying that she's got tuna, and then here's Anya's. So I think that went down a treat. I think that was. It's a little bit chilly in here, hence my coat. But also, I'm drinking lemon and hot water. Really good for digestion, really good for acid and alkaline balance, all that malarkey. So, hello. So it's dinner time, as you may have guessed, because we are back in the gross kitchen. Now, Tonight's dinner is basically going to be a vegetable medley with some salmon. It's where Misha grabs all of her favourite vegetables and her favourite source of protein and healthy fats, salmon. Now, let's come closer. I feel like I'm doing an advert, like, buy this salmon. This is from Lidl. How much was it? I'm not sure, but it certainly wasn't the nine, uh, eight yeah. something that in we Waitrose, yeah. it's an organic one and it's like £7.99. It tastes incredible, but £7.99 for two pieces of salmon is two daylight robbery. Yeah, exactly. So this one is Scottish salmon. Apparently it's responsibly sourced salmon fillets from the beautiful waters of Scotland. So, Aww, so Chloe, not, I'm stealing your salmon. So it's not farmed, because when it's farmed, it's fed artificially with yeah. loads of rubbish. I feel like I've watched documentaries on that. Ow, 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 it actually really hurts. Now, I feel like people are gonna be like, salmon? It said, look, it comes up here with fat. 20, what are you doing in the background? 20 grams of fat, which is basically 29% of your daily fat intake, but, this is good, healthy fat. High fat, low carb. Has a nice little green sticker on this saying it's high in omega-3, so we wanna keep our bones strong and our brain working. And the salmon is my favorite fish on the planet. I love it. And we're gonna stick this in the oven. But, let's move on to the vegetable pack. Can you stop running the water? Because we're trying to do daily eat, not daily eat. What's he eating a day with Misha? Um, I'm going to be snacking on some sugar snack peas. These ones are the best. They're from Waitrose. And I've tried every sugar snack pea 
from Lidl, Marks and Spencers, Tesco's, Sainsbury's, and Waitress is the best. They're the sweetest and the most like juicy. The only problem is that by the time it comes for Misha to cook them, she's eaten all of them. I don't cook and sugar snap peas. She like... hasn't washed them. I don't cook sugar snap peas, I only eat them raw. Excuse me, don't cook on my chopping area. Now, another thing that is a staple in my diet is butternut noodles. Now, I absolutely love butternut squash. So butternut noodles are the easy alternative. You can obviously make these yourself, but who has the time to um, grate? Not even grate. What would you call that? Spiralize. Spiralize a butternut squash. Easy to do with a courgette. Yeah, easy to do with a courgette, but not with one of these. And Marks and Spencer's sell these two for three pounds. So that's one pound fifty, and I'll use like one or half of one in a meal. So that's actually not too bad. And they kind of are like a healthy replacement to pasta. At least we tell ourselves that. But no squash is of course a really good complex carb and more complex carbs are some green veggies. So absolutely love courgettes, will not be spiralizing them though. Then some more beanie creature things. We've got some mange twos or mange tout it looks like it's pronounced but they definitely are mange twos. And then we've got some organic broccoli. Mum always nags us to buy organic products because they do so yeah, one, but let me get on to that. They do say that basically if, if, I was about to say, if a vegetable is brought up, vegetables aren't brought up. If a vegetable is grown in organic environment. Soil. Yeah, an organic soil environment, same difference. When you eat the vegetables, you're supposed to gain a lot more of the nutrients. Yeah. Because obviously there's no point eating loads of vegetables and they're not getting any of the nutrients. And I know I did have a problem for a bit of time where I wasn't actually taking any of the vitamins from what I was eating. So yes, that's why we buy organic when we can, but I know it's really expensive. So if not, mum will chase me around the house with this dang fruit and veg box. What, wash? Wash. So she makes me spray everything. And, and once, the one time I actually did do it, I accidentally put washing up liquid on my strawberries. And it removes wax, dirt, and the residue of toxins. Yeah, spray, spray in your <laughs> face. You're oh. the biggest toxic finger here. Also, I've got an aubergine, because again, an aubergine is like a more meaty vegetable, if you see what I mean. I'm not really about the whole peas and sweet corn life. I'm more about those wholesome, meaty vegetables. We're now gonna start prepping my veggies. I typically sort it, what do you call it, a pan fry, what I do with them? Saute them. Saute, that's yeah. it. But she should be really steaming them and there's a steamer over there. Who likes steamed courgette and steamed aubergine? Yeah. No, no. no Sauteing okay. is the way to go. I just need some more food. I mean, it's just that piece. Yeah. Let's cut. I feel like everyone in the household has a good knife. And I feel like these are our best two knives. Are they red by any chance? One of them is red, one of them is yellow. Let's grab me a courgette. And I'm just gonna chop off Ian head and the bum. Bit like a carrot. You didn't need that tutorial with me either. Anyway, now we're gonna have, I'd say like a third of the aubergine, is that about right? Who knows? I don't really know if you're supposed to cut off the bum of an aubergine, but I do it anyway. Then we're gonna grab some organic broccoli. And then there's my monge twos. So we're gonna go to the sink now and we're gonna wash these vegetables so mum doesn't scream at me. Let's go. She tells me to wash the vegetables, but then she takes up all the washing devices. So I don't have a drainer. I don't have a drainer. These are our berries for later. Mum got these blueberries. Blueberry. Did we have the packet in the fridge? No, the Waitrose ones. Let's go to our messy fridge now. Mm. Look at these. So they are the aromatic vibrant blueberries and they were originally like three three pounds fifty but they were reduced for one pound seventy five and they taste so good <laughs> So we're just gonna unpackage the salmon and try not to get all the raw salmonness on us because that's just not fun. 
Uh, it just juiced everywhere. Just gonna lay it. Cod? No, you cod mean tuna. stinks. No, when cod's cooked, it smells. So there's my two beautiful pieces of salmon because the more salmon, the merrier. Now, we're gonna season and salmon. First of all, we're gonna take some pink Himalayan rock salt. So this rather gross looking container, because we've had it for so long, has got the pink Himalayan rock salt in. Now this is really good because it's unbleached salt. And unlike normal salt, this is actually good for you. It's supposed to really help with your hydration. So again, mum chases me around the house and tries to force me to drink it in my water, mm -hmm. which is gross. Now this is one item that I think is so underrated pepper mum never uses it in food but i absolutely love pepper so first seasoning we're going to pop on is turmeric now i don't particularly like the taste of turmeric but you really can't taste it when it's on the salmon and this is a really great anti-inflammatory it's one of those whole foods that they just they say fixes everything i swear next i normally the only problem is oh, oh, the only problem with turmeric health is warning. it can dye your nails and I'm worried what it does to my teeth then. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to pop on some garlic granules. I'd normally get fresh garlic, but we're doing this easy breezy today because we're in a bit of a rush. Okay, now I am normally, and I used to be, a liquid aminos sort of gal, but this is made from soy and I can't have soy at the moment. So, no soy for me, but instead I'm having to use Worcestershire sauce, which really isn't the healthiest alternative, but we're just going with it. Just at the moment, and it just gives a bit of more of a nice flavour, and it's like a fake soy. Now, just to give it a little bit of a kick, and to boost our metabolism with even more fire and spice, we've got some crushed chilli flakes, which I'm just going to... Sprinkle on the salmon. Now, I'm not massively into spicy food, so this is only gonna be- We're now gonna pop the salmon in for, how long does salmon even take to cook? People always ask me how long things take to cook, and I'm just like, they take as long as they take. I just know by looking at it. Yeah, you can just tell by looking at it. So, bye salmon, now, have fun. I forgot to film this earlier, but basically, mum cut up some fennel. We love fennel. And we just seasoned it with some salt, some pepper, some mustard sauce, some good old fashioned coconut oil, which this one is actually also from Lidl. So oh, yeah. go Lidl for stepping up your healthy food game. And even though it's saturated fat, it's good. Again, it's good healthy fats. We're all about yeah. the good healthy fats. I absolutely love fennel. It reminds me of another vegetable, but I don't know what it is. No publicity. What do you eat in a day, Dad? What do you eat in a day? Whilst the salmon is cooking, we're gonna chop up my vegetables and I am no chopping genius so I don't really know how to chop vegetables I just do whatever happens <laughs> As we can see, I've quite literally got a mound of green vegetables that I'm gonna now pop in a pan on the stove and start cooking up with some more coconut oil, some salt, some pepper. <laughs> Whilst everything else is cooking away, I've got half the pack of the butternut squash noodles and I'm actually gonna borrow mum's steamer. Whilst she's steaming some leeks, I'm gonna also steam the butternut squash noodles because they recommend to microwave them or to steam them, but I think this is the best way because otherwise they really yes. Um, I am gonna eat that much. <laughs> and yes, this looks revolting, but I promise you it actually tastes really good. We've got the fennel, we've got the butternut squash noodles, and then we've got all the green veggies, and then we've got the beautiful salmon. So as we can see, th this is bigger than my hand. And they say to eat the rainbow. I'm quite literally eating the rainbow, so I'm gonna go enjoy this. Aloha. So dinner is done and dusted, and it's pudding time. So without spilling this everywhere, as we can see, I've got me some raspberries, some strawberries, some ginormous scrummy blueberries, and then a tiny bit of this weird melon from Waitrose, which is very really good. I can't have dairy, and I can't have soy, so I have this lacto-free plain yogurt. As we can see, just looks like yogurt. But I'm just gonna blob some yogurt on my fruit. Mmm. So, after I finish with this, that will be everything I have eaten today. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I know a lot of people have been asking for them and I hope I didn't disappoint. Sorry it's been so all over the place and I mean I eat a lot but it's all healthy good food. I feel like because of a lot of my vlogs I seem like all I eat is unhealthy food or less healthy food like sweet potato fries but that is for special occasions. I do eat like this 99.9% .9 of the time. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I maybe taught you something. I don't really know. I feel like I have some knowledge of health and food and all that jazz. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Let me know if we would like any of these in the future. Make sure to check out the matcha tea in the link below because it is a staple, well, it should be a staple to everyone's diet. So bye guys. Mm.